Feeling scatterbrained? Find yourself plotting recently? Well, have I got a video for you. It's time to learn how to make a scatter plot in Google Sheets. So what is a scatter plot? A scatter plot is simply a graph with dots that represent the relationship between two different numerical values. A scale for one of the numerical datasets sits on the x-axis. Then a scale for the other numerical dataset sits on the y-axis. Then a dot is placed at the intersection for each pair of values. Now, once a lot more points have been added to the graph, you can start to look for trends or correlations between the two datasets. Now moving on to Google Sheets, how do you actually go about making the scatter plot? Well, the first thing you need is two numerical datasets. Once you have these, you are ready to go. Start by selecting all of the data, and then go to Insert, and then select Chart. Google Sheets will try to guess what graph you are creating, but it doesn't always get it right. To change the chart to the type you are looking for, start by selecting the chart, then click on the three dots near the top right corner of the chart, and then select Edit Chart. The Chart Editor panel will appear on the right side of your Google Sheets spreadsheet. Under where it says Chart Type, you can then change the type to scatter plot. You now have a scatter plot that you can work with. To customize the many different aspects of the chart, you also use the chart editor panel. To change the title of the chart, for instance, start by clicking on customize and then click on chart and axis titles. Make sure that chart title is selected and then simply change the title text to rename the chart. You can also center the title and you can bold it as well. Now to change the horizontal axis title, change chart title to horizontal axis title, and then change the title text accordingly. You can change the vertical axis title the same way. And that's about it on how to make a scatter plot in Google Sheets. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.